Remember that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
a little sparkle. This, I'm getting like a, man, like a green apple jam that doesn't go crazy with the sugar. Yeah, I get that. Yeah, but, well, but in the finish, there's like this, you get these nice um, sweet desserty layers, yeah. but then in the finish, it feels like there's this gap. It feels like, oh, layer, layer, layer. There's nothing right here. There should be something right yeah, here, and then the underneath palette. it, there's, yeah, the mid palette. That's is what I'm just, saying. Yeah. Now, Chase the Sherry, mm -hmm. you'll see how they filled out the mid palette by finishing it in sherry casks. Mm -hmm. Oh, there it is. You see what I mean? Wow. So this is, this tastes like if you cut the mid palette out of Balvini Doublewood. Yeah. But then added a little bit of pepper at the very end. Now the sherry cask, mm -hmm. it's like uh, a vanilla cranberry, just uh, almost just sweet cream in there with it. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's much better. It's I, I don't hate the toasty American thingy. Okay, we're sweet gonna toast try. of American oak. I don't hate that. Yeah, it's, it's like it's not bad. It's pretty good. Thanks, There's Patrick. definitely a lot of whiskeys that are, you know, Thank you, Patrick. Not this even is... close to how good that is, but between the two, it's like, damn, man, the sherry cask on this Belvini. What was that? 12. The 12. It's classic double wood. Yeah, it's just uh, it's super good. Rubicon Rye. Now, this is a gift from Matthew Hansen. Matthew Hansen, you magnificent bastard. Now the Rubicon, that's the crossing of the Rubicon, this is the river, right? Yeah, but... Isn't this the George Washington yeah. thing? No, it's not George Washington. This there was a, is there was a crossing from, with somebody. This is from Colorado. Yes, that's it was George Washington crossed the Rubicon, I think. Or was it George? Now, I'm, now no, you got me second like, guessing no, it. I think it was a George, there's a painting of George yeah, Washington yeah. Was crossing the Rubicon? the Rubicon. Okay. Anyway, but these guys are from California. We just tried their whiskey. I don't think the episode has aired for us yet. Okay. But remember that Camino Ray that we tried and it was like, oh... I don't. Beer E. Mm, uh, like a chocolate porter or something. Oh, okay. I think that's what we said. Oh, it's going to be coming up pretty soon then. Yeah. All right, maybe today. This is from the same distillery, but sent by somebody else. Okay. So Dry Diggings is now Dry Diggings and Amador. Is it, a, is it a different bottling? Uh, yeah, it's a rye. Okay. Instead of the, we tried the bourbon, this let's, is the rye. Let's pull out the other thing we just did. There's. Oh, here it is. Yeah, we have. It's the it's the light stand. <laughs> yeah, we have <laughs> Make about. Make sure the light didn't. What do you, we have about 50. Yeah. There's more than 50. Oh, this, th okay. About 50 or so bottles around this. This is the one camera. that was so incredibly hazy. Yeah. And this was juice. Look at the bottom of that. This was. Look at that. You lifted that so gently. Yeah. Look at the bottom. Oh, my gosh. Ah, uh, okay. This is juiced wicker. Ah. Uh, is what I remember. Yeah, that. yeah. Yeah, it's like. And you, we you, really didn't like if it. If you could put wick, wicker in a juicer. <laughs> oh, yeah. And it was beer heavy. Yeah, but this is going to be, a, this is much more um, what you would expect from. Uh, you know, a nice American. Well, it's 100% rye. Yeah. It's not antique wood. It's not tannic, raw, young wood. It's over two years old. It's just uh, a nice developed oak in there. And then I'm trying to get the rye elements because I'm getting the, the nice, um, you know, charred American barrel bits in there. Yeah, but there's some, there's some wood. It's really wood wood heavy on the nose. No, it is. It's, it's definitely the oak is presenting more than anything. I'm not getting a lot of tannin from that oak on those. I'm getting a lot of just the rich woodiness in there. Oh, that's uh, far superior to the bourbon. It is. Wow. Wow. See, I kind of like that. It's like a honeyed chunk of wood. <laughs> honey, and there's uh, a bit of brown sugar in there. There's something between these bottlings. I don't know if this is like a weird special thing. The bottle looks different. Mm -hmm. This, what's the proof on that? This is 48%. Okay, this is 40. Yeah, man. This is just strange. Yeah, well, I think it's, I'm pretty certain right. it's a beer that they distilled. Okay, well that's, well hold on, clarify though, because you're, for no, most I'm just going off of, I'm just going off a of taste. Okay. It tastes well, like. But for most whiskeys though, I'm saying, mm -hmm. you're starting with a, a, a wort, what is essentially a beer. Yeah. But right. you're saying you're taking it out to a finished beer. Yeah, or, yeah. Okay. Like more of and an actual beer distilled, that. yeah. Maybe, we don't know, maybe. It's just what it tastes just like. Just guessing. Yeah, this is, all right, so I feel like I've had this 50 times in other bottlings from other distilleries, but I don't hate it. Like, I really like whenever yeah, it's a, a rye presents like this. If I was at their bar and I ordered this rye, that would be oh, what yeah. I sat and drank at their bar. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Very, very nicely um, done. I actually, very nicely I'm going done. back to that Balvini, but I, 
I'm hoping that going back to the Balvini opens up something that I didn't have in there before. Phoenix Rising. McAllen is the Sony of the 90s. You pay a huge premium for the name, but they also know what they're doing. See, this, I copied that because I thought that's the best analogy I've ever heard from McAllen. Yeah. Right? You pay a premium right. because they're good at branding. Yeah. But they actually do know what they're doing. Yeah. And so it's not hollow branding resulting in shitty whiskey being so promoted. I would say anybody that says McAllen, oh, she's overrated. I think, well, I mean, it's not like it's bad whiskey. No, and exactly. That's what right. I keep saying. It's not bad whiskey. Right. It just costs more than whiskey that's as good as it. It's kind of like... But doesn't have the branding. It's kind of like Apple now, right? If you're just right. going purely by specs, mm -hmm. then you can create a PC with the same numbers on a spreadsheet that's going to be, you know, like an Apple, and you're paying an Apple premium. Mm -hmm. But if you like Apple and what Apple presents and the, 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 the Apple experience, then, then it could absolutely be worth you paying the premium to absolutely. get an Apple. Yeah, it's just what you like. Absolutely. Um, that Rubicon, though... Uh, I did get a nice, uh, a nice, uh, nice caramel thread that yeah. I eventually presented in the rye. That's just really yeah. nicely done. It's nice. Okay, we got the fine dibulator. Damn it! Made the mistake of trying this Connemara peated single malt sample. Anything comparable that a guy with three dollars in college can afford? Yeah. What did I say? Three daughters in cottage. Yeah. I thought you said dollars. No, three daughters in college. Yeah. It takes more than three dollars. I know that's to get how it's like. Wow, it's a cheap college. Three dollars. Uh, no, like my so, my kid's almost thir my oldest is almost thirteen. You know he's only I'm, two years from driver's ed. I'm starting to have this thought. This college fund that you know apparently responsible adults have been saving up since the kid. Now it's no. Yeah, we'll figure that out. No, uh, I got two no, more. I didn't have a college fund. Sorry, sorry, buddy. Daniel, no. Daniel said you're paying for your own thing. No, the now. most my parents did was say, "Look, you can get scholarships, and if you want to live at home for free right. while you're going to college, that's fine." Oh, but we're not. We don't have. There's no money to. You pay and I college. did the same thing. Like the day after school ended, mm -hmm. the senior year, I was like, <laughs> "Peace out." <laughs> Uh, no, okay, so I asked so this, I like this question because... Peated single malt sample. I have the same question. Okay. Irish peated. Okay. Right, now, I love Conmara because I love the peated Irish flavor. Mm -hmm. I can't get, we can't get Conmara here to save our lives right now. The distribution's <laughs> terrible. Are there any comparable tastes in Irish whiskey to Conmara? Is anybody doing a peated Irish that we don't know about? That's my question. Hmm. Peated Irish. By the way, a couple days ago I said, is anyone doing a peated bourbon? And then people filled the comments thread with American peated malt suggestions. Right. And now, no. Bourbon. Bourbon, you guys. <laughs> bourbon. Right. Peated corn whiskey. Right. So this well, is my question. Well, well, peated Irish. More than 51% corn. Hey, you want to make Daniel flip out? Oh, I know. Recommend some peated scotch. Oh, yeah. Just do it. Here's the fighting, stealing, and drinking. Fill the comments. If you fight, may you fight for a friend. <laughs> if you steal, may you steal lovers' hearts. If you drink, may, may you drink, drink with us. us. Hey, thanks for hanging out with us in the Whiskey Vault. Don't forget to throw in a like, hit that subscribe button on the bottom right, and drop a question or comment down below.